Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my driveway. What we're trying to do is do a oh, DPF delete. And so far I've gotten the cat out, which was a pain in the ass. Does anybody know what the hell that thing is? If you do, please comment in the section below. Because I have no idea what the fuck it is. There was nothing hooked to it. I think I'm covering the microphone. There was nothing hooked to it. it just bolted to the exhaust. Made it a pain in the ass to get it out. Good stuff. Then, <clears throat> this is why we're doing a DPF delete. Oh, I don't know if y'all will be able to see that. No, because it's black. Imagine that. The cruise. The clamp was on there, and that's all the more I've gotten it to move. And I've beat the shit out of this thing. So, I don't know. People say, oh, just wiggle it and tap it and it'll come off. I watched a video before I did this. Bullshit. What you have to do is I took the took the clamp completely off, cut it with a sawzall because it looked like that. It'll focus. Focus you focus. Okay, well, it's all rusted. There's no way in hell it was gonna turn. I didn't even waste the energy trying to get it to turn. I just cut it the hell off. And then since I cut it off, I took it completely off. It's riveted on the passenger side to the exact actual exhaust pipe. So I'm going to have to, what I'll do is I'll put a regular clamp on there just to get me down to my buddy's exhaust shop. And uh, I'll have him run a bead around it, fill in that hole and bada bing, bada boom. But, oh, what a mess. These things are a pain in the ass. This is a 2008 F-250 with the 6.4 in it, and uh, it's a pain, but I'm, uh, I have, what do you call that, perseverance, and it's going to get dark soon, and I'm not laying under this truck dark, so yeah, we'll see y'all here in a minute, I'm going to beat the shit out of it, I'm going to take my ball peen, to that exhaust hanger ended up cutting one of them they say oh just lube it up and slide it off yeah right ended up cutting one on either side i don't know if y'all can see yeah cut that one cut this one and oh yeah if you find you can't get it out all the way up front right there see where the header comes down those two holes right there those two holes that's another exhaust hanger there's a total of three between where it couples right there and the back where i just showed you so if you just take those two bolts out it'll make make it a little easier but give me a second i'll be right back with you here's the kit that we're installing that's a cat and dpf delete from flow pro right there yeah got here really quick i ordered it off amazon pretty good deal it's relatively cheap too for what it's doing the only thing i'm worried about i think the bolts are under the truck the only thing i'm worried about is i think the bolts are going to be too short i'm going to end up going to AutoZone or something get some longer grade five bolts nice hard not going to come loose type stuff but it's only got one exhaust hanger. That's why I wasn't real, real too awful worried about cutting that one or those two. But straight pipe all the way back. Let this thing breathe. Get that stupid ass DPF out of there. That ain't doing nothing but killing the truck. But yeah, A little shameless advertisement here because I have no shame. All right, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So, 
there's the entire beast out there's that exhaust hanger that I was talking about with the two bolts right there just take those off slide it out makes it a lot easier instead of trying to pop it off of there which these do have a metal core in them it's not just rubber so be cognizant of that if you're gonna cut one like I did there's no way in hell I was getting both of them to pop off of there like I wanted to <laughs> wait what <clears throat> something to be weary of turn this around so you guys can see me something to be weary of is if you plan on putting your DPF back in don't take it out like I did um, mine was on there say eight eight years and uh, it got rusted back there and would not come out no amount of wiggling I couldn't get it to spin or wiggle or nothing sprayed a bunch of brake free on it just trying to get that thing out and I couldn't so what I did is I started hammering up at the front on the flange because I had this part out already but <clears throat> what I didn't think about is how thin the metal is trying to get that to focus anyway it cracked from here you can see the crack it's just not focused very well down to here and there's no way I could ever get that flange back to where it would seal right with that so this DPF is junk and they're not cheap so if I ever have to uh, go put this back in it ain't gonna be this one it'll have to be a new one thank God I don't plan on uh, hurting my truck by putting this piece of shit back in there now that this thing can breathe which we're gonna go put the kit in right now and I need to hurry I'll probably not video again until it's in I don't know maybe I'll show some in-process stuff but I need to hurry it's uh, about 60 degrees in Oklahoma and it was 40 something yesterday and only got up to 20 something the day before so the weather's swinging and this may be my only day to do it so I need to get my shit in gear and get going but <clears throat> time to put the kid in there's the wife's car time to put the kid in get this done go in sit in my easy chair and uh, drink a beer or six it's more shameless promotion all right, I won't do that shit no more. I got a cool sticker. Everybody knows. <clears throat> Everybody knows. I race dirt cars. Everybody knows if you got stickers, it makes it faster. That's worth at least 10 horsepower right there. So, all right. Be back with y'all in a minute. All right, so it's dark, so I can't really show you guys the... Uh... How the hell do you zoom this thing? Oh, I can't really show you guys the uh, installed exhaust. It's just a pipe. I mean, <laughs> now I got my H&S programming because you got to have a programmer to delete the, the cat. Why are you not focusing? You goddamn $800 camera can't focus. Um, you got to have a programmer if you take the DPF and EGR off these things or it uh, basically will go into limp mode and you won't go anywhere so got the old H&S it asks you if uh, the emissions shit has been screwed with on the vehicle has it been removed or modified I of course said yes and uh, my truck will be off-road only because you can't drive on the highway without emissions but it's an old farm truck and I want it to last so uh, yeah, it's you can't really see what it's doing, but it says downloading tune, do not unplug, blah 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 blah. It's basically programming my truck. I put it on mild because I don't need the HD 300. It's not like I'm gonna be racing the cows, so uh, yeah, it's programming. Once it's done, we'll start it up, make sure that she runs, and 
I'll be done for the night, but it's dark out here. I would show you guys the install. Like I said, it's it's a straight pipe. There's really nothing to show. If you haven't seen exhaust before, then you probably <laughs> shouldn't be watching this video, but um, really nothing to it. So uh, I'm going to be doing more videos like these, um, hopefully with a better camera, because right now all you can see is the green lights of my dash, and I have my H&S velcroed to right there it, it's pretty nice instead of putting it up on the windshield or up on the mirror i like it right there so this is the view i have when i'm well i guess it'd be a little further back but that's my view when i'm driving so doesn't hinder me in any way i can still see the average miles per gallon all that good shit so that's it i'll uh i'll let this finish and then we'll start the truck Alright guys, she started right up, got a nice little, it's got kind of a whine to it, I don't know if y'all can hear that real good, much, much better, the old girl can breathe now, oh that's beautiful, that's beautiful, let's get rid of this. <clears throat> Yeah, oh, Flow Pro, they hooked me up. That was that's a good kit. But with the ass pain of the uh, oh, bash the camera there. Uh, the ass pain of the install. I don't know if y'all are even gonna be able to see me. The ass pain of the install. Getting the DPF off. I destroyed that DPF, but. I think it was worth it. But, uh, sitting here idling real nice. Sounds good. I know it can breathe now. I turned the EGR valve off. I have an EGR delete kit. I didn't put it in. I didn't just didn't have time today because I know it's pretty involved. But as far as I can tell, she's doing all right. Um, I'm gonna test drive it during the daylight. I'll maybe do another video on that. I need to get a clamp. I'm, I'm not going to AutoZone tonight to get a clamp. So it's just wedged in there. I mean, it's tight. I could probably drive it for a while like that, but I'm not gonna. But yeah, guys, it, uh, that Flow Pro Cat and DPF Delete was A-OK. -okay. It, uh, it went together real easy. Uh, I wish they would have put a clamp in there because if your truck is older than two years, that thing's going to be so rusted you're never going to get that clamp off unless you cut it. So I don't know, but my God, the throttle response. <laughs> I'm touching the throttle about like that. I'm having to literally hold my foot. I don't want to mash it like I normally would. I mean, it, it's nuts, the throttle response. This, that helped a lot. And that's it. Right now it's on the stock setting. I can, I can actually shift the settings on the fly. Those of you that have H&S Mini Maxes know you push up and it, you go from stock to, to tow to oh yeah to hold on to your nuts because we're going so um, I'll have to drive it I think I'll drive it to work tomorrow and uh, see what's up but overall very happy with the flow pro kit um, I kind of wish they would have put a clamp for the rear in there but if I wouldn't have done it the way I did it, it would have worked just fine. But I cut the clamp off and then took it, took it, the uh, rivet out and popped the whole clamp off with the intention of getting a, uh, a crushed clamp and then going down to my buddy's exhaust shop and uh, having him buzz a weld around it real quick. I can weld, I have a welder, but not on exhaust. It's too thin. 
I can't see up in there. No, I'm not that good of a welder to think that I can do that. So that's the plan. Uh, probably get up early tomorrow. I work nights, so I'll probably get up early tomorrow, go down to his shop, have them, him buzz that around there real quick, and then drive her to work and see how she does on the highway. What I'm really excited about is the fuel economy because I was at 13.4 before. This thing's, it's raised four inches. It's got great big old mud tires on it and put a lot of money into the truck. Now it's an old farm truck. So I bet it's one of the better looking farm trucks out there. But we'll see what happens. It sounds good. It's no CEL, no, no issues. It doesn't seem like it's wanting to die or anything. It's just sitting here purring. So thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it if i helped you somehow if i can answer any questions leave it in the comment section below i'll see what i can do um, lifetime mechanic uh, i'm an air force aircraft mechanic uh, i'm at 17 years so three more years i'm out uh, so i got a little mechanical knowledge been running race cars for god years with a couple buddies of mine and uh yeah if i can help throw a comment down there i will answer as many of them as i possibly can but that that's my uh that's my story that's my video and i'm out thank y'all for hanging out and uh throw me a like and a subscribe appreciate it